basics of color theory. I'm breaking down some basic color properties today and I'm going to start with hue and value. If you get yourselves a fancy dancy handy dandy color wheel, the hues are the colors that are on the outside of this color wheel. Hues are measured in wavelength and temperature. Uh, the visible light waves that the naked eye sees, that's the color of the rainbow. Now there are three things to remember about hues. It's a color in its purest form. Two, there's three basic categories of hues, primary, secondary, and tertiary. And three, they come in warm or cool. Hues are your basic colors in their purest form. And you can break them down into primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. Primary are the colors red, yellow, and blue. Two other colors cannot make a primary color. Two primary colors equals a secondary color. Blue plus yellow equals green. And a tertiary color is a secondary and a primary mixed together. Well, that mostly just means the hyphenated colors. Yellow green, blue green, red violet. Third thing to remember is that there are warm hues and cool hues. You can pretty much take your color wheel and split it in half. So green is your neutral. Green can be considered a warm or a cool. Green to red, those are warm. Violet through green, those are cool. Next thing is value. Value has to do with the lightness and darkness. And there are three things to remember with value. You got your tints, your shades, and your tones. Tints, you add white. Shades, you add black. Tones, you add gray. Fun fact with shades, if you add the complementary color instead of black, that will make a more realistic looking shade, like if you're painting a landscape or something. For example, a green bush. So add red, you got yourself some really good shaded bushes. Also experiment with that complementary shading thing. That would be interesting. So you can have like a uh, like a reference guide to look back at. So I wanted to follow up all of these lessons with a little activity that you can go and do something fun with. So I highly suggest if you don't have like a sketchbook, getting like a mixed media sketchbook or something and draw out some long rectangles like this and make some gradients. You know, go through the color wheel and do your t tones, do a whole page of tones, a whole t page of shades, whole page of tints. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll also link down to my website. I'm creating like a transcript, like a written blog post with a little bit more information along with a list of all of my sources and any fun activities that sound fun. Okay, bye.